Spit a verse, burr. You think they were spitting verses back in the day? I don't know, party people. <laughs> What's going on guys? Andrew here with yet again another natural reaction. How the freaks it going party people? It's good to see you. Really good to see you, especially those Hamilton fans out there. How the heck's it going? It's time for part three party people. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new, go down there and click that subscribe button for me because I've got plenty of daily content and I'm pretty much looking at things that you folks suggest. Yes, you silly. So go down there, click that button. Let's be friends and let me know what you want to see. And hey, I'm also on the Instagrams at the Real Natural Reaction if you're into that sort of thing. Anyway, if you clicked on this, you know you know we're taking our third look here at Hamilton the musical, um, which you can see on Disney Plus, which is pretty exciting. They have a dope filming. Um, I probably never would have checked this out on my own, so I'm glad you folks suggested it because it is freaking dope. Um, at the time of this filming, unfortunately, I think part two was taken down off of YouTube because Disney had a copyright claim and stuff like that. Just wanted to quickly take a second to let you folks know that I do have a Patreon account and uh, between uh, the Instagram and my Patreon and stuff, I'm going to figure out ways to get um, my whole reactions up and stuff like that. So even if you see them blocked or taken down, make sure you check back often on the on my social medias and stuff like that because... You'll be able to check them out. I'm gonna, I'm trying to figure out this whole copyright situation. Anyway, good to see you folks again. Special shout out time to people in those comments like Cami out there. How's it going? I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Um, general gist of this says, satisfied with such a good song to pause on. Um, for a second there, I thought you'd stop after Helpless and I panicked. Um, when you're finished with all of it, maybe you should check out uh, Social Studs channel. Um, cool. Oh, yeah, another uh, some other channels to um, giving some historical slash political context, um, explaining about whether things are factual and stuff like that. Um, so that sounds pretty cool. Um, I appreciate you, Cami. Thanks for watching. We'll absolutely do because I'm getting into this story. Um, uh, you know, I'm getting into the, the history as well as the music and stuff like that. Of course, Jennifer R. Alio out there says, I'm reading uh, the biography of Hamilton by Ron Chernow, the book that inspired Lynn to write uh, this in the first place. His whole life is so fascinating. Obviously, Lynn did take creative liberties um, with certain events, but most of it's pretty accurate. Nice. Um, the King George song is meant to sound like a Beatle-esque uh, song. Oh, a literal British invasion actually sounds very much like a song by the Monkees. Um, Lynn is just a freaking genius. Wow, after I did read that comment the other day and I was thinking to myself and I listened to that song again and I'm like, you're totally right. That's how genius is that to make it like a literal British invasion? Oh my goodness, this gets better and better party people. Um, and trust that I'm definitely uh, watching this on my own and stuff afterwards and, and editing. So, you know, and of course, Kevin Soster out there says, I can't wait for you to react to the rest. It literally gets so much better, exclamation point. And yes, many of the actors and actresses had their mics in their hair. I think Peggy, Angelica, and Hamilton all did for sure. Some of the characters had them hidden in their costumes. You wouldn't normally see them as they're filmed up close. Nice. Uh, yeah, I thought so. I just wasn't sure last time. I definitely saw her mic coming down. Probably wouldn't see it if it was that close. I also feel like maybe at one point it maybe kind of started hanging down a little bit. It was a little bit distracting for me, but still dope, obviously, party people. And of course, Nat L down there, or Nat I? Is it Nat I or Nat L? Whichever you are, I appreciate you for watching. It says, you should probably watch on um, your own Historians React. Nice, from Social Stud. So cool, another person talking about that. I absolutely will check it out. Um, somebody also... Uh, sent me um, sort of like a dumbed down, like quick history version. I forget what they're called. I've seen them before with like the Civil War and stuff like that. Um, but this was more of a Revolutionary War thing. I don't know. Check the comments, party people. I've been I've been seeing you guys uh, commenting um, like you. Elu, Elu, 21 out there says, oh, I didn't realize that to the first time watching. But Aaron Burr is the best character of the show. Uh, Hamilton and Burr live on the opposite spectrum, or live on the opposite, sorry, live on the opposite spectrums on the on some parallel paths. They're opposites, but switch roles at the end. It's crazy. Watch Burr, but my second favorite character is Thomas Jefferson. He's only in the second act. Ooh, that's intriguing. So now I'm excited to hear from Mr. Thomas Jefferson. Apparently coming up soon, party people. Um, and of course, Eliu21 goes on to say how Hamilton is just a genius masterpiece. Um, baffles them when people talk about it who don't like it. Me too, actually. How could you not possibly like this? This is just like 
it's just dope from the rapping to the singing to just like the awesome historical facts and the acting oh my goodness pretty dope party people i can't believe i didn't check this out earlier to be honest with you and of course megan shoemake out there how's it going i appreciate you um, oh yeah, sent me this link. Uh, the first threads of what became Hamilton were performed by Lynn during a po poetry night at the Obama White House. I think you'll find it interesting. I actually did check that out and I'll, maybe I'll leave the link below so you guys can check it out as well. I definitely um, heard how he, uh, oh, he introduced it by saying he was working on a concept album by someone he believed embodied him hip hop, Treasury Secretary, uh, Alexander Xander Hamilton, uh, which I thought was dope. He absolutely introduced it like that and it was really sick and I thought that was really cool to see and everybody seemed to enjoy it. So it, it makes sense, it makes a lot of sense how it kind of got to this point. The only thing that was sort of weird was seeing him with his normal short hairstyle. I was kind of used to seeing him look like Alexander Hamilton. So he looked a little weird with the short hair, but check that out party people, pretty dope. And of course, uh, Claire, Beaulieu, I'm probably saying that incorrectly, I apologize, but the actor playing Hamilton is Lynn manuel Miranda, who wrote the whole thing, which I have since discovered, party people, or realized, whichever you want to call it. Um, either way, I've got uh, the video back up here, and we're starting back at 40 minutes and 28 seconds, or 40 minutes, 30 seconds, same thing. Um, this is right after... Um, well, the last song that we checked out, so why don't I just keep pressing play since we're already a few minutes into this. You guys are probably getting sick of the blabbing. Please subscribe if you're new. Check me out on the Instagrams and the Patreon if this gets taken down, but I appreciate you for watching. Let's get some more part three of Hamilton reaction party people. Let's do this. I may not live to see our glory. I may not live to see our glory. But I've seen wonders great and small. I've seen wonders great. It's good voices and small. too. If the town can like not just rapping, man, right? If Alexander can get my list. Hope for our rest after all. Raise the glass to freedom. Hey! Something you will never see again. No matter what she tells you, let's have another round tonight. There's a glass to the four of us. Oh, oh, to the new oh. not poor of us. Oh. Let's tell the story we got tonight. <laughs> let's have another huh? Well, if it isn't Aaron Burr, sir, I didn't think if it isn't Aaron Burr. To be sure, well, I came to say congratulations. Spit a verse, Burr. I see the whole gang is here. You're the worst, Burr. Spit a verse. Ignore that. Whoa, do you think they talked like that back in the day? Spit a verse, burr. You think they were spitting verses back in the day? I don't know, party and people. And congrats to you, Lieutenant Colonel. I wish I had your command instead of manning George's journal. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Now be sensible. From what I hear, you've made yourself indispensable. Wow. Well, Love the rhymes. You got a special someone on the side, burr. Is that so? What are you trying to hide, burr? I should go. No, these guys should go. Ah. Leave us alone, oh, man. It's all right, Burr. I wish you'd brought this girl with you tonight, Burr. You're very kind, but I'm afraid it's unlawful, sir. What do you mean? She's married. I see. She's married to a British officer. Oh, shit. Oh, Congrats <laughs> again, Alexander. Oh, that was surprising. Was that Smile. the, uh, was that the first curse party, people? Oh, oh, shit. Nice. Um, this is just so interesting. Like, where, like, I know he read that, that, um, other book or whatever about his life and stuff like that, but, like, what actually compels a person to, like, sit down and write something like this? He just was that inspired? I don't know. Let me know what else you know, party people. This is dope. See you on the other side of the war. I will never understand it. If you love this woman, go get her. And now I see what his mic, too. For? See you on the other side of the war. See you on the other side of the war. On the other side of the war. Hmm. Theodosia writes me a letter every day. day, day, day. Okay. I'm keeping her bed warm while her husband is away. away, away. He's on the British side in Georgia. He's trying to keep the colonies in line. Well, he can keep all the Georgia, Theodosia, she's mine. 
Love doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes and we keep loving anyway. We laugh, we cry, we break and we make our mistakes. And if there's a reason, I'm by her side. So many you try. One's got a nice groove. I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Wait for it. My grandfather. Yeah, this one's got a nice groove party, people. I'm digging this. And by the way, I keep thinking about the, the folks um, uh, doing the, the stage production and stuff, whether it's like the lighting or changing around the scenery or the, the little bit of the delay on the vocals there or something. Um, I know some of you folks said that you have seen this on, uh, uh, what's it called, on Broadway. I'm curious, does the show, uh, I know they have time to edit and do all the fancy stuff here with the post-production with the film, but I'm curious to know if it uh, kind of sounds and looks the same uh, actually on Broadway live, party people. Let me know out there if you've been to the show and you know. Um, I'd be interested uh, to know. Anyway, I'll shut up. This one's, this one's got a groove. Future, future, future. There are things that the homilies and hymns won't teach you. I love that little delay there, right? My mother was a genius. My father commanded respect. When they died, they left no instructions. Just a legacy to protect. A legacy to protect. Yes, doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes. And we keep living anyway. We rise and fall and we break and we make our mistakes. And if there's uh, a reason... The blowing is so alive, sick. Everyone who loves me is dead. I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Kind of running late. I'm not standing still, I am lying in bed. And nothing faces in it, this up will climb. He has something to prove, he has nothing to lose. And nothing faces relentless, he wastes no time. What is it like in his shoes? What is it like in his shoes? Hamilton doesn't hesitate. He exhibits no restraint. He takes and he takes and he takes and he keeps winning anyway. Keeps winning Changes anyway. The game plays and he raises the stakes. And if there's a reason, he seems to thrive when so few survive. Then God damn it, I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. And this one's sick. Clapping sick. Oh, wait for it, party people. Give him one of those, because that was that was a pretty dope little number there as well. Um, wow, so I'm starting to really get a sense that this fellow is almost like has like an obsession with this guy or something like that. Um Right? I don't know. I feel like he almost becomes obsessed and it really gets into his brain or something and like he just has to do something about it. I don't know, party people. Let me know what you know, but that's kind of what I'm getting. <laughs> Trust me, I'll watch the historians reacting and get the whole full story after, but kind of what they're portraying here. This is dope. Dancing, everything. I have never seen the general so despondent. I have taken over writing all this correspondence. Congress writes, George attacked the British forces. I should back. We have resorted to eating our horses. Local merchants deny resorted to eating our horses. They only take British money. So sing a song of sixpence. Cavalry's not coming. But sir, Alex, listen. There's only one way for us to win this. Provoke outrage. Outright. That's right. Don't engage. Strike by night. Remain relentless till their troops take flight. Make it impossible to justify the cost of the fight. Outrun. Outrun. Outlast. Outlast. 
hit them quick, get out fast. Oh yeah, Stay so up. now I'm starting to remember they're all outgunned and outmanned and everything, right? They have no supplies. They're eating their freaking horses. So now they have to really uh, figure out something to, um, I don't know, help provoke or help get people, uh, I don't know, excited. Not excited. What's the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean, outraged or something like that. Get mad so they actually fight, right? For the cause. I think. Gonna fly a lot of flags half mast. Raise a glass. I go back to New York in my apprenticeship. I ask for French aid. I pray that France has sent a ship. I stay at work with Hamilton. We write essays against slavery. And every day's a test of our camaraderie and bravery. So we cut supply lines. and bravery. contraband. We pick and choose our battles and places to take a stand. And every day, sir, in trust. Trust me with the command, and every day, no. he dismisses me out of hand. Instead of me, he promotes Charles Lee, makes him second in command. I'm a general who wins! Yes. Wee! Not the choice I would have gone with. He shakes the bed at the Battle of Monmouth. Everyone attack! Such an interesting modern take on these events, right? we got a George Washington traitor on our hands. Wrong words from Lee. Someone ought to hold him to it. I can't disobey direct orders. Then I'll do it. Alexander, you're the closest friend I've got. Florence, do not throw away your shot. Uh oh. Here comes the song again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nah. nine. It's the ten dual commandments. It's the ten dual commandments. Ew. Thick transitions too, right? The challenge demands satisfaction. If they apologize, no need for further action. If they don't grab a friend, that's your second. The lieutenant, when there's reckoning to be reckoned. Number three, have your seconds meet face to face. Negotiate a peace. Or negotiate a time and place. This is time and negotiate a time and place. Most disputes die and no one shoots. Number four, if they don't reach a peace, that's all right. Time to get some pistols and the doctor on site. You pay him in advance, you treat him with civility. You have him turn around so he can have deniability. Five, go before the sun is in the sky. Pick a place to die where it's high and dry. Number six, leave a note for your Do before the kill. sun is in the Tell sky. Pray that hella heaven lets you in. Seven, confess your sins ready for the moment of adrenaline. Alexander. Aaron Burr, sir. Can we agree that duels are dumb and immature? Sure, but your man has to answer for his words, Burr. Your man has to answer for his words. Absurd, sir. Hang on, how many men died because Lee was inexperienced and ruinous? Okay, so we're doing this. Okay, so we're doing this. <laughs> ruinous. Not sure what the the word uh, ruinous means, party people. Let me know. Whoops, whoops, party people. Whoop, let me go back just a touch here and mess that up. Whoops. Whoops. Mess that up here. Give me one second. Let me full screen that bad boy. All right, here we go, party people. Technical difficulties. Sorry about that. Got a new way of filming these days. Let's do this. He can have deniability. Five. Go before the sun Five. is in the sky. Pick a place to die where it's high and high. Number six. Leave a note for your next to kin. Tell them where you've been. Pray that hella heaven lets you in. Seven. Confess your sins ready for the moment of adrenaline. Win. Fight and feast your opponent. Number eight. Give last chance to negotiate. Send in your second. See if they can set the record straight. Alexander. Aaron Burr, sir. He's like. We agree that duels are dumb and immature. Sure, but your man has to answer for his words, Burr. With his life, we both know like that's this. absurd, sir. Hang on, how many men died because Look Lee how the was inexperienced and ruinous? OK, 
Okay. So Let me know what ruinous doing? means. I gotta look that one up. Look him in the eye, ain't no higher. Summon all the courage you require. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten, basic fire. Ooh, so they did the duel. Lee, do you yield? You shot him in the side, yes, he yield. I'm satisfied, yeah. we gotta clear the field. Go, we won. Yeah. Oh, snap, so they did have a duel. What is the meaning of this? Mr. Bird, get a medic for the general. Yes, sir. Lee, you will never agree with me, but believe me, these young men don't speak for me. Thank you for your service. Let's ride. Hamilton, yeah. sir, meet me inside. Oh, snap. Inside. He's in meet trouble. Inside. Meet him inside. Love these transitions from song to song, right? It's dope. Solve nothing. You aggravate our allies to the south. Absolutely right. John should have shot him in the mouth. That would have shut him up. Son, I'm not your son. Watch your tone. Damn. I am not a maiden in need of defending. I am from. Thomas Conway. These men take your name and they rake it through the mud. My name's been through a lot. I can take. Well, I don't have your name. I don't have your titles. I don't have your land. But if you know, if you gave me command of a battalion, a group of men to lead, I could fly up a my station after the war. Or you could die, and we need you alive. I am more than willing to die. Your wife needs you alive, son. I need you alive. Call me, son, one more time. Man, so it sounds like he's getting, uh, sounds like he's getting a lot more, like, brave or just, like, kind of owning, owning him, his personality and himself more, right? Like, he's growing up and getting more mature, and he's kind of, like, standing up for stuff, right? Um, I don't know, it just seems a little more, a little more, uh, you know, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You know what I'm trying to say, party people. That's an order from your From the beginning. So go home. Orders him to go home? Oh, snap. Man, she's got a great voice, this girl. How long have you known me? A month or so. Eliza, you should have told me. I wrote to the general a month ago. No. I begged him to send you home. You should have told me. I'm not sorry. I knew your oh man, his wife went behind his back. This is dope too. Will you relish being a poor man's wife, unable to provide for your life? I relish being your wife. Look around, look around. Look at where you are. Look at where you started. The fact that you're alive is a miracle. Just stay alive. That would be enough. So she's trying to talk some sense into him and try to trying to keep him alive so they can have a family together. Right? Fragment of your mind, look out the world, that would be enough. I don't pretend to know. Man, her voice is sick. I feel I feel like she's barely even trying. Sounds dope. The worlds you keep erasing. So she's just worried about him. Doesn't want him to die in the war. We don't need a legacy. We don't need money. If we could grant you peace of mind. Man, her voice is sick though, right? You hear these notes? She's hitting So smooth. Feel like he does not listen to her. She tries to plead with him that their their family and their relationship could be enough for them, but he's not having it, I bet. Is that when he first finds out that he's having a kid, by the way? 
Is that supposed to be like her telling him that he's going to be a father or I don't know. I don't know. Let me know, party people. Like I said, first first time hearing this stuff right now and I'll look up the history and you guys are telling me some stuff every time I put out another part to this. But wow, pretty dope. I really love uh, just everything about this. The transitions, the singers, they like pick the perfect cast for these uh for these characters party people um this is just sick let's keep going let's keep going a couple more tag volunteer army in need of a shower somehow defeat a global superpower how do we emerge victorious from the quagmire leave the battle quagmire that Ross's flag higher yo turns out we have a secret weapon an imprint yo. you know we love who's unafraid to step in love He's the flowing when they start rapping founding the british henchmen everyone give it up for america's favorite fighting friends not yet We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate their gifts. We can end this war at Yorktown, cut them off at sea, but for this to succeed, there is someone else we need. I know. He knows what to do when a trench ingenuity is fluent in French. I mean, so you're gonna have to use him eventually. What's he gonna do on the bench? I mean, no one has more resilience or matches my practical tactical brilliance. You want to fight for your land back? I need my right hand man back. Get your right hand man back. You know you gotta get your right hand man back. And you gotta put the button to the letter for the sooner the better to get my right hand back. Alexander Hamilton. Troops are waiting in the field for you. If you join us right now together oh, So now they want him back? Now they're Tide. bringing him back? Oh, Alexander Hamilton I have soldiers that will heal for you If we manage to get this right They'll surrender my <laughs> They're getting dizzy spinning around on the stage yet? I guess that is true. Sorry, I was just thinking that like he just said the world will never be the same. I guess we never really like think about that kind of stuff, but truly like these cats like changed the world back in the day. I guess, you know, the time period's just completely different so it feels like many many lifetimes ago, but it's actually not that long ago and it is kind of crazy like maybe the world would be a little bit different if these events hadn't happened or something party people. Um I don't know. This is this is dope though. I just have a real appreciation for history. I always have. I love this kind of stuff. And uh, I don't know, the music and just the modern take and the point of view on it is just super dope. Um, I love this. Um, why did he come back, by the way? It sounded like they didn't want him, but now they're like, oh, crap, we need you. Come back. We want you. Um, I would have been like, Psh. you know, had an attitude if I were him, maybe. I don't know. But it's bigger than just one man, right? When I was given my first command. I led my men straight into a massacre. I witnessed their deaths firsthand. I made every yes. mistake and felt the shame rise in me. And even now I lie awake, knowing history has its eyes on. I love that. Like the, the marching snares or something. Battle snares. Right? The battle music, son. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known When I was young and dreamed of glory You have no control Who lives, who dies, who so I wonder if he learned a lot from this this guy in charge here, huh? I know that greatness lies. Kind of seems like he had a relationship with him, learning from him, right?
Monsieur Hamilton. Monsieur Lafayette. It just goes right into the next one. That's sick. It's like one long song, party people. Immigrants, we get the job done. We get the job done. Back to France, I bring freedom to my people if I'm given the chance. We'll be with you when you do. Go, lead your men. See you on the other side. Here we be again. I am not going away, my shot. I am not going away, my shot. Ooh, we know this one. Well, no, they keep bringing it back, right? <laughs> oh, his voice. The world turns upside down. So much it feels more like a memory. This is where it gets me. On my feet, the enemy ahead of me. If this is the end of me, at least I have a friend with me. Weapon in my hand, a command of my men with me. Then I remember my allies is expecting me. Not only that, my allies is expecting. We gotta go, gotta get the job done. Gotta start a new nation, gotta meet my son. Take up on the chapter. Gotta meet my son. Gotta meet my son. Experiment begins with my friends all scattered to the winds. Lawrence is in South Carolina, redefining bravery. We'll never be free oh, until we whole bunch of groovy songs, right? Drop the British away. I forget is there waiting in Chesapeake Bay. How did we know that this plan would work? We had a spy on the inside. That's why I can leave my ass. I'm spying on the British government. I take the measurements of formation and then I smuggle it. Lied to my brothers, revolutionary yeah, smuggle. I'm running with the sons of liberty and I am loving it. Get the poop back up again. Yeah, that's so sick. Party people. This is so freaking sick. I love, I, I just wanted to say I love that guy. Um, again, I keep bringing it up, but he's got like a big, like Louis Armstrong uh, influence or something like that. That's what I'm getting from him. You guys know Armstrong. He's got the... The crazy voice, right? Doesn't he play the trumpet or something too, maybe? No, maybe that's a different person. I don't know. Let me know if I'm wrong, party people. All I know is that this is dope. You like the record scratching? Great job, party people. After this is awesome. Fighting, a young man in a red coat stands on a parapet. We lower our guns as he frantically waves their white handkerchief. And just like that, it's over. We tend to our wounded. We count our dead. Black and white soldiers wonder alike if this really means freedom. Not yet. We negotiate the terms of surrender. I see George Washington smile. We escort the men out of your town. They stagger home single file. Tens of thousands of people flood the streets. There are screams and church bells ringing. And as the fallen foes retreat, I hear the drinking song they're singing. They say this is like a drinking song? The chairs are upside down when they do it, right? Literally upside down. <laughs> this is epic. Wow. Is he crying? He's getting into it. Wow. The start a new nation, gotta meet my son. Wow, this is a super powerful party, people. This is sick. The start a new nation, gotta meet my son. Is he crying? I can't tell if he's acting or if he's like literally getting into it and he's like crying there. All snap, here's the king. This cat's one of my favorites, by the way, party people. Apparently he was in uh, Frozen? He's one of the voices in Frozen. Price of my wars, not a price that they're Somebody let me know that in the comments. Insane. You cheat with the French. Now I'm fighting with France and with Spain. 
I'm so blue. I thought that we made an cool. arrangement when you went it's away. It's blue. You were mine Get it? to subdue. Well, even despite our estrangement, I've got a small query for you. What comes next? You've been freed. Do you know how hard it is to lead? You're on your own. Awesome. Wow. Very cool. Do you have a clue what happens now? Oceans rise, empires fall. It's much harder when yeah. it's the all signal. your call. Oh, that was sick. People are damn good at singing, party people. When your people say they hate you, don't come crawling back to me. Da 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 da. da Bringing da, back this da 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 da. It's from the other song da, too, right? Da, 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 da. I love how they have these callbacks to earlier because it makes you feel You're more familiar with it, I suppose, right? That was it? Nice, nice, nice. Where are you at in here, party people? We'll still go with a couple more. Um, I really like that cat, even though he's like the one of the bad guys or whatever. I like the character. I still think he looks like Dennis from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, by the way. But yeah, let me know um, out there. I think some other folks uh, last time told me that he played, who was it, Kristoff? I, I forget. I don't even remember the characters in Frozen, but he's one of the characters in Frozen. Oh, which makes sense since this is now a Disney Plus or Disney production or whatever. Um, well, and they really have like no downtime in this production, by the way. No wonder why they're all sweaty and running around. I'm not sure if it has to do with the editing or if that is like the flow of the actual show, but I love the transitions and they keep going right into it, right? That's dope. Sorry, I'll shut up. I gotta react a little though, right? Okay. A couple more party people. Theodosia, it's a pretty dope name. This name when you came into the world you cried and it broke my heart. beautiful piano I'm dedicating every day to you domestic life was never quite my style when you smile you knocked me out I fall apart and I thought I was so smart wow. I sing it come of age with our young nation We'll bleed and fight for you. They sing it nice and soft, right? Sounds good. If we lay a strong enough foundation, we'll pass it on to you. We'll give the world to you and you'll blow us all away. Someday, someday. Yeah, you'll blow us all away. Someday, someday. Wow. You got a damn good voice. I like this one. Philip, when you smile, I am under my son. Look at my son. Pride is not the word I'm looking for. There is so much more inside me now. Oh, Philip, so he ends up having his kid. The morning, son. My son. When you smile. Oh, he's looking a little different too, huh? I fall apart And I thought I was so smart My father wasn't around My father wasn't around Swear that I'll, I'll be around, around for you I'll do whatever it takes I'll make a million mistakes I'll, I'll make the world safe and sound for you Fight for you, we'll make it right for you. If we lay a strong enough foundation, we'll pass it on to you. We'll give the world to you, and you'll blow us all away. Wow, this is powerful. So. 
he definitely loved his kid and wanted to give him the entire world, obviously, because that is almost specifically what they're saying in this song. Um, so that's cool. So apparently he's around long enough to meet uh, him and stuff like that and want to give him the world. Interesting. Unless this is some bad news, which it seems I like it's going to be. Live to see our glory. Alexander, there's a letter for you. It's from John Lawrence. I'll read it later. But I will gladly join the fight. No, it's from his father. His father? And when our oh, snap. Did he die? Will you read it for me? They'll tell the story of tonight. On Tuesday, the 27th, my son was killed in a gunfight against uh. British troops retreating from South Carolina. The war was already over. As you know, John dreamed of emancipating and recruiting 3,000 men for the first all-black military regiment. Oh, man. His dream of freedom for these men dies with him. Tomorrow there'll be more of us. Damn. So is this his ghost kind of deal? Are you all right? Kind of thinking in his head. I have so much work to do. After the war, I went back to New York. Uh, after the war, oh, I went back to New York. I finished up my studies and I practiced law. I practiced law. Burr work next door. Even though we started at the very same Just time. sick. Alexander Another transition. Began to climb. How to Burr work next door. How to rise to the top. Man, back to the, the hip hop. Gentlemen of the jury, I'm curious. Bear with me. Are you aware that we're making history? This is the first murder trial of our brand new nation. The liberty behind the liberation. I intend to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt with my assistant counsel. Co counsel Hamilton, sit down. A client Levy Weeks is innocent. Call your first witness. That was all you had to say. Okay, one more thing. Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? Why do you assume you're the smartest? Smartest in the room, soon out of two, baby. You're doomed. Why do you write like you're running out of time? Right, sounds dope. Almost like has like a little bit of like a reggae influence, huh? Bond fighting in the meantime. Corruption, such an old song that we can sing along in harmony. And nowhere is it stronger than in Albany. Corruption, yeah. Cruel party people, still to this day. The law practically perfected it. I've seen injustice in the world and I've corrected it. Now for a strong central democracy, if not, then I'll be sovereignty throwing verbal rocks at these mediocrities. Oh, Hamilton at the Constitutional Such Convention. Such a sick chosen for the Constitutional Convention. There is a New York Junior <laughs> Delegate. Now what I'm going to say may sound indelicate. Oh. Rosen proposes his own form of government. What? His own plan for a new form of government. What? Talks for six hours. The convention is listless. Right, young man. Yo, who the F is? This. Why, why do you always this? say what you be? That's sick. Why do you always say what you be? Every proclamation guarantees free ammunition for your enemies. Why do you write like it's going out of style? Right day and night like it's going out of style. Everything is right like it's going definitely has like a little bit of reggae influences, right? Alexander. Aaron Burr, sir. Well, it's the middle of the night. Can we confer, sir? Is this a legal matter? Yes, and it's important to me. What do you need? Burr, you're a better lawyer than me. Okay. I know I talk too much. I'm abrasive. You're incredible in court. You're succinct, persuasive. My client needs a strong defense. You're the solution. Uh, who's your client? The new U.S. Constitution. No. Hear me <laughs> out. No way. A series of essays anonymously... Well, he's got big dreams all the time, the this guy, right? No one will read it. I disagree. And if it fails... Burr, that's why we need it. Constitution's a mess. So it needs amendments. It's full of contradictions. So is independence. We have to start somewhere. No. No way. You're making a mistake. Good night. Hey, what are you waiting for? What do you stall for? What? We won the war. What was it all for? Do you support this Constitution? Of course. Then defend it. And what if you're backing the wrong horse? Burr, we studied and we fought and we killed for the notion of a nation we now get to build. For no. once in your life, take a stand with pride. Folks. I don't understand how you stand to the... The way this dude flows and some of the word choices that they use with the rhymes and stuff is just so sick. I just gotta stop and give it another... Ew! Jesus, this is so awesome. This guy is a genius. Seriously, this is this whole show is just like absolutely, absolutely genius. I just gotta give it give it one of those party people. Yes, I'll keep all my plans. 
hands close to my chest. Wait for me. I'll wait here and see which way the wind will blow. I'm taking my time watching the afterbirth of a nation, watching the tension go. Who's that? Oh, for a second I was like, wait, she, they, he left the other girl and now he's with, with her? Because I know they were, they had sort of a thing before and she was in love with him, but I guess what, she got, she got married to some other fellow now? She's gone? And he's kind of like, oh crap, I guess you moved on, huh? I think. Where you started, oh, no. Let me know. The fact that you're alive is a miracle. To stay alive would be enough. And if you're wise, This is great, like, coordination time, too, right? If I could grant you peace of mind, would that be enough? Alexander joins forces with James Madison and John Jay to write a series of essays defending the new United States Constitution. It's right into the next thing. I love the whole flow. The plan was to write a total of 25 essays. The work divided evenly among the three men. In the end, they wrote 85 essays in the span of six months. John Jay got sick after writing five. James Madison wrote 29. Hamilton wrote the other 51. How do you write like you're running out Whoa. of time? Write day and night like you're running out of time. Every wrote the other 51? Like Is that true, party people? It's crazy. It almost seems like he's obsessed, right? These guys are obsessed. They're asking me to leave. I'm doing the best I can to get the people. Right? I love that line too. It seems like he's obsessed. How do you write like you're running out of time? It seemed like he just knew like the important time period that he lived in and just knew what was at stake and knew kind of what was what was coming. Like this man was ahead of his time or something like that, party people, right? Um that's crazy. I love I love that line. How do you write like you're running out of time? Um Actually, it reminds me of a 21 Pilots lyric by Mr. Tyler Joseph that says, like, uh, I think he says something like, death inspires me like a dog inspires a rabbit or something like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe something similar. Any 21 Pilots fans out there? Anyway, I'll shut up. Sorry. All that I need, I'm asking you to be my right hand. Man. I know it's a lot to ask treasury treasury to leave behind the world. You Sir, know. Sir, do you want me to run the treasury or state department? Treasury. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's a little weird. I have to leave. Alexander. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. They are asking me to he's using, leave. He's using her words against her now, right? He is not throwing away his shot party, people. Hey, it's an intermission. Look at that. Well, hey, I think the intermission uh, is a good place to start, party people. 57 seconds. <laughs> hey, it's probably going to be a little bit longer than 57 seconds for us. But hey, if you're enjoying this, please hit that subscribe button, party people. I know I certainly am, and I appreciate all you folks watching and leaving comments and letting me know about the the history or backstory about uh, this production and the characters and and all that. Um, really sick party people. Um, hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully I'm not ruining it too much for you. <laughs> like I said, if this gets taken down, uh, follow me on the Instagrams or, you know, 
support me on the Patreon and stuff like that, and we can keep this this lovely internet friendship going, party people. I appreciate you. Let me know what you want to see, uh, either by Disney or Hamilton or, I don't know, stage productions or comedy or music or anything else out there. I do appreciate you. Subscribe if you're new, and I guess I'll just have to catch you on the next Natural Reaction. Thank <laughs> you.